Hey everyone! We are in the fourth week of Galactic Seasons, and the biggest question so far has been where can I find insect toys? So come along, I'm going to show you some really good locations to kill a bunch of insect toys that will benefit the entire season. Pro tip to get to your destination really fast is by using the activity finder, the little icon right next to your map with the three people on. Once you click this, you go to the solo tab and you will find your desired destination. Simply click on it and then use the travel. The first insect that we're going to go for are the Killix, which are located on Aldron. The first location I'm going to show you right here will be in the Kamos territory, directly north of the Rue Sena spaceport, which is Imperial area. There's a very large area right here of Killix hives. It is called the Infested Vale, and as you can see, it will be plenty of room to kill a bunch of bugs. Another good location, still in the Kamos territory, will be directly south of Lorantha Dam. The easiest way to get here is going from Thule Research Camp and go directly east and then go south when you reach the two missions right here. There's a small pocket area of a bunch of Killix right here. Another great location to find a bunch of Killix would be in the Juran Mountains, directly south of Outpost Bolim. Or directly north of House Aldi. There's a fairly large area right here of Killick Hives as well. So, go nuts! Next great location will be right in the Alsacan Lowlands, surrounding House Tyrol. There's a really large area here of Killick Hives, and even up around the compound on the north part. This is easy to get to as Republic because your output is right at Ward Post Duval. And I quite like this, there's lots of them. Last but not least, and probably the favorite, is in King's Pass. The entire south part of the map is one big Killick Hive. Ward Post Lourdes is the Republic outpost and part of the bonus series. So if you are an Imperial and want to get here, it will be the easiest to come from the north where you will come in from Outpost Talarn. Happy hunting on Aldron! The next insectoid we're gonna go for will be the Colicoids, which you of course can find on Belmora. The best location for it will be in Bugtown. On the Imperial side it is called Farnell Research Facility, but it is best known as Bugtown. You can even get two heroics bound to this place, which is called A Question of Motivation and Project Hexapod. This one being an instant base, so if you would like to do your killing without anyone being able to interfere with you, then that is the place to go. On Republic side, it's exactly the same. You've got Bucktown, which is a big area filled with colicoids. However, there is another location I'm going to show you that is Republic only. And that location is in the Sundari Flatlands. In the south part right here is a massive compound filled with colicoids, and there are three heroics tied to it that you can pick up at the terminal in Bucktown. It's called Acquired Taste, Colicoid Massacre, and Local Predator. There will be lots to kill here. The next insectoid we're going for will be Geonosians, which has two locations to find them. And the first one will be right here on Osis. A good location for the mutated Geonosians, which they are known for on Osis, will be in the canyons. There will be a very large area up in the north here where there will be a fair bit of groups and then along the water right here there will be a bunch of them as well but the best location by far in my opinion will be at the farms you have a really big area here around the farms and also down in the south or especially around the water where there's lots of geonosians and they have a fairly quick respawn time as well so this is a good place to go on a killing spree the other place for Geonosian is, of course, their original place on Tatooine. A really good location is in the Junlands, directly north of Outpost Largona. There's a compound right here known as Manister Base, where they have taken over, and there are plenty of them with a pretty good cooldown time as well. Another great location 
is still actually in the Jonlands, but now all the way up to the north, directly north of Dreviat Outpost. There is an abandoned settlement that all of these Geonosians have taken over, so go mayhem. The last group of insectoids is by far the trickiest as well, which are the shark claws that you will find on Voss. A really good location in the open world for this will be in the Nightmare Lands, directly south of Gen's Outlook. There's a very small itty bitty area right here at the T Cross, and there is um there's a few groups of shark claws right here with a fairly good uh, cooldown timer as well. So good spot for them. Another open world location for the shark claws on Voss will be still in the Nightmare Lands but now northwest of Shatka Outpost, which is a Republic area. This little area here in the corner of this river, you will find some of the Shark Claws mixed with other native animals. They also have an okay cooldown, but they are mixed, so it takes a little bit longer here, but here are some. My best recommendation for the Shark Claws, however, is actually to do it on Imperial and pick up the heroic ancient guardians at the heroic terminal you will use the heroic transport and get directly sent to an instance base where you will find 10 approximately inside once you've killed all 10 you can walk directly out again from the instance open up your log and reset it it is worth noting that this reset go on a 2 minute cooldown, just FYI. But as soon as you reset it, remember that your starting point would now be down here, just so it recognizes that you're actually in this area, and you can start it all over again until you killed all 75 of your shack claws inside. This is by far the easiest way to get your kills on boss, and what I would recommend to do. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you have any really cool tips, then please let us know in the comments. Finally, I would like to thank my patrons for their continued support. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to become a patron for as little as $1 a month, then details and links can be found in the description down below.